only drove 56 kilometers from Liverpool to Manchester. He then drove 61 kilometers from Manchester to Sheffield. His average speed from Liverpool to Manchester was 70 kilometers per hour. He took 75 minutes to drive from Manchester to Sheffield. Work out on his average speed for the total drive from Liverpool to Sheffield. Now I think this is most confusing because there's a lot of words. So I'm actually going to write out Liverpool to Manchester. And he drove from Manchester to Sheffield. I'm going to put the information I have. So I know this is 56 kilometers. And then from Manchester to Sheffield is 61 kilometers. Okay. His average speed from Liverpool to Manchester was 70 kilometers per hour. This means I can actually work out the time. Then he took 75 minutes to go from Manchester to Sheffield. Five minutes. Okay. Work out on his average speed for the total distance of it. Now, when you, don't get confused by thinking that average speed is the speed of this plus the speed of that divided by two. Because the distances are different, it doesn't work. So what we have to do is we have to work out the total distance from Liverpool to Manchester, Manchester to Sheffield, and the total time. And we do our speed equals distance over time. So speed equals distance over time. Um, some people like it as a triangle. Uh, I'm not a big fan of a triangle. I will always stick to this formula and just rearrange it. Uh, so I've got my, my distance, got my time here. I've got my distance, got my time, my speed here. So I need my speed for this first bit. So the speed is 70 equals my distance is 56 over time. Uh, to work this out, I've got times both sides by time. We equals 70 T equals 56. And I've got it divided by 70. It's divided by 70. So my time is 56 over 70. I want to type into my calculator. Uh, 50 on 56 divided by 70. 0.8 and remember this is in hours okay. uh, now let's have a look at this this is in minutes so I'm going to convert my 75 minutes into uh, hours so I know 60 minutes is one hour now so I've got 15 minutes left now this 15 is 15 over 60 hours okay. so I'm going to type that in uh, 15 divided by 60 which is a quarter, so that's 1.25 hours. And it's important to keep all of this in hours. Now, to get my total distance, I do my 56 plus my 70. Uh, 56 plus 70, 126 kilometers. And my time, I'm going to do 0 0.8 plus 1.25. So 0.8 plus 1.25 equals 2.05 uh, speed equals distance over time my distance is there my time is there so I just have to divide them by 126 divided by 2.05 so it's actually 61.46 kilometers per hour and I'm grounding it to two decimal places just because that's fairly accurate and there is a part B to this question uh, Janine drove from Barnsley to York Janine's average speed from Barnsley to Leeds was 80 km per hour. Her average speed from Leeds to York was 60 km per hour. Janine says the average speed from Barnsley to York can be found by working out the mean of 80 to 60. If Janine is correct, what does this tell you about the two parts of Janine's journey? Right. It actually means it took the same amount of time for both. So I'm going to have to put both parts of the journey took the same amount of time.